tomorrow slate. It is going to be in the NBA. Very short slate here, only two games. But uh, should, should be some good ones. Could potentially be some good ones. Anyway, let's dive into it. Indiana at Milwaukee, 8 o'clock tip-off at the Bucks. Milwaukee open 10 and a half, total open 222 and a hook. Not a whole lot of movement in this one. I guess we're seeing some pretty good two-way action in the early wagering. Uh, Milwaukee still a 10 and a half, total move down to 222. So once again, the Bucks 10 and a half, total 222. 51% of the consensus is leaning toward Milwaukee, 53% shaded toward the over. Right now, the Pacers are plus 465 on the money line. Now, when it comes to the Pacers, Big blow here because Sabonis is out for Thursday night's action. Now for Milwaukee, Hill is out and uh, DiVincenzo is still struggling uh, with that foot injury. He's out as well. But Milwaukee, regardless, they rank first in home scoring. They're averaging 120 points per contest on their home court. They also rank first in the NBA in home offensive rebounding. Uh, they are 25-5 and five straight up at home. 18 and 12 against the spread in that same category. They've also uh, gone 12 and 5 ATS in their games that tipped off at the current number. And they're covering 62% of their games, taking on teams over 550. Now, Indiana failed to cover in two out of their three games against Milwaukee this season. They've also covered just seven out of 17 games as the official road underdog. Uh, the Pacers ranked 26 in road offensive rebounding. Uh, Sabonis being out will not help that cause as uh, Sabonis, uh, the leading rebound getter there. Uh, Indiana also ranks 27th in defending the three ball on the road. Now, total-wise, Indiana 5-2 and two to the over in their last seven. 17-14 and 14 to the over on the road this year. Meanwhile, Milwaukee 4-2 to the over in their last six. They're 80% to the over in their games that tipped off at the current posted total. I'm going to purchase the half a point, slide it down, another square play here. Give me Milwaukee minus 10 in the over 222 in that matchup there. All right, next and final game for the show, it is going to be OKC at Portland. 10.30 tip off in Rip City. Portland opened three and a half, total 233. Just seeing a little bit of movement on the total upward. Not a whole lot of movement when it comes to the lines in the early wagering. Once again, Portland minus three and a half, total open 233, up to 233 and a half. 53% of the consensus is leaning toward OKC. 55% is shaded toward the over. Uh, at the moment, OKC is plus 135 for some money line cash. Now, uh, Andre Roberson still out indefinitely with that knee injury for OKC. Uh, meanwhile, for Portland, Evan Turner's not playing Thursday night. He has been ruled out for that matchup there. Uh, regardless of Portland, very good at home. They rank second in home offensive rebounding. They also rank third in home defensive rebounding. Portland is 24 and 8 straight up at home, 21 and 11 ATS in that same category. 7 1 against the number in their last eight, 6 and 2 straight up in those eight ball games. Portland covers 62% of their games as the official home favorite. They're also 18 and 9 against the spread, taking on teams over 550. Now, OKC's failed to cover in four out of their last eight games that tipped off at the current point spread. They are four and six against the spread in their last 10, taking on Portland if you're into historical trends. Uh, OKC's also 29th in road three point shooting, that's second to last in the NBA. They also rank 28th from the stripe in that same category. Their defense is allowing 112.5 points per contest when traveling. And when it comes to the scoring, OKC 5 1 to the under in their last six. 60% of the under on the road. Portland 2 and 1 of the under taking on OKC this year. I'm going to purchase the half a point, slide it down, and take Portland minus 3 and the under 233.5 in that matchup there. All right, folks, that is going to do it for me. But before I get out of here, I just want to remind you once again to check me out on my website, patreon.com slash Brock Page. We're having an incredible run right now, 7 and 1 in our last eight plays doing very very well on that website check me out at patreon.com slash brock page there's plenty of free content there as well uh including my current record and our daily poll where you can tell me who you think is going to win on a particular game all right most importantly i want to thank you for watching today's program i really hope you enjoyed all this great free information and uh, best of luck in your wagering uh whether you're tailing me fading me using me as information or just dogging me in the comments section. We always love that. But anyway, thank you for watching. And don't forget to check me out at patreon.com slash brockpage.